are you driving today? It's the BMW i5 40e Drive E. Yeah, let's do that again. <laughs> So what are you driving today? So I'm driving the i5 eDrive 40e for this one. So I'm driving the i4 M50. This has over 500 horses, I think, and the whopping, I don't know, Newton meters of torque. Um, this is probably the most powerful among all of these. So let's put these 500 plus horses to the test. I've never driven the i4 or actually i haven't driven any electric bmw yet for that matter so today is gonna be fun i'm gonna smoke no i'm just kidding <laughs> but yeah it's gonna be a fun drive to batangas today what are you driving today what, what do i do for a living <laughs> uh, ix3 i've never driven it i'm not even sure i've driven the, the x3 thank you guys for swapping with me you enjoyed ix it's spacious this should be fun Hi guys, so we're in the BMW i7. It's the highest end sedan of BMW that's an EV. And as you can see, I have a passenger princess here because it's the seat to be in when it comes to the i7. So I'm on chauffeur duty today and let's see how the car drives. And it's the only one equipped with all the ADA systems from BMW's lineup. So let's see how it goes. Hello, so Sam and I are here in the BMW iX. It's my first time to drive an electric BMW. And all I can say is it's very, very comfortable. How about you, Sam? What can you say about this? For first timer, it's very, very comfy. What what Anton is missing? Okay. Uh, if you can make a if you can make a U-turn there sa turbina. Tapos once we head northbound, exit via Silangan ba Kabuyao? Kabuyao. Kabuyao. Exit Kabuyao then make a U-turn again. Ah uh, pin na lang kilometer 44 southbound. Okay. Petron, Petron, Petron. All right. Okay. So you're on video right now. Yes, guys, we lost Anton, <laughs> but he's not gone. He's not gone. He's coming back. I don't know what happened. Maybe when we said we were gonna stop here, maybe he was outside the room. I don't know. I thought we, I thought we were clear, but yeah, uh, fun drive. Uh, the i4 M50 is. A very powerful machine. Uh, I was able to stretch its legs a bit and I only lost 15% from Green Hills and that was with me driving on sport mode for the entirety of SLEX. So I think regenerative braking did its thing. So yeah, um, we're about, I think, less than an hour to our destination and hopefully no more rains. Anton, our lead guy who accidentally was the lead car. <laughs> went ahead to scout and he said it was raining so hopefully weather clears up but yeah i think i just fell asleep bagay joyce bagay now i just need a driver a permanent one Arlo? there's your driver <laughs> so the drive was great huh? like medyo matagtag siya sa etsa but i think that's because we were flooring it on the etsa a little bit but other than that when we got the slex it's a nice drive you really feel like a driver so on this episode of Where's Anton? <laughs> so we have hashtag King the Tries. Hashtag Where's Anton? <laughs> okay, extra seat time. All right, so what's happening? <laughs> I was so far ahead of the convoy, these guys decided to stop. <laughs> In my defense, I think I, I don't think anybody realized that when we said we were gonna stop here, I think Anton was outside. <laughs> so yeah, <laughs> we're so sorry, man. But extra seat time. Actually, now that Anton's here, we can go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I think we're kind of lost or or not. Just. Look at that. That's the entrance. Trip to Narnia. Do we enter that or not? Come on, Sam. Hi. <laughs> what do you think? 
Well, it's the correct pin. I don't want to get our wheels dirty for nothing. <laughs> So we're finally here in El Cortijo in Lipa, Batagas. It's a nice hideaway. Nice Spanish restaurant with this tapas, paella, it's all quite delicious. No? Really good food by Chef Pablo. Yeah. And the trip was made even better because we brought along these all-electric BMWs on this trip. So what did you think of your car? Well, I had the i7. The i7 is 10.390, yeah. so about 10.4 million. And honestly, as a driver, it was fine. But for my passenger, she really, really had a good time. Like she was getting a massage. She was like in complete darkness in the back. It was just relaxing for her. So really good. How about you with the i5? Okay. It's your favorite 5 uh, Series. Okay. No, no bias, but um, the 5 Series will always be my favorite series of BMW. So um, for me, this was a really good blend. Um, it's got the power, it's got the performance. It's got the comfort and you're basically everything you expect from a 5 Series. What about you, Leander? I have an i4 M50, which I thought was the one Dinzo drove a few months back. Man, this thing pulls. This has 795 Newton meters of torque, 500 plus horsepower, and my God, it has so much power. It's arguably the most fun car to drive out of all these, but so I sat in the iX briefly, and while I did enjoy my time in the i4, that thing just felt a lot more comfortable just driving it around this driveway. And how much is yours? This is 5,990, 5.99 million. The iX is 6.29 million. And it has a lot more creature comforts. Of course, it doesn't, it pales in comparison in terms of performance because this thing is crazy. <laughs> I mean, we drove it up to 100 kilometers per hour on SNX and start all. My God, what a fun 100 <laughs> kilometers per hour. <laughs> <laughs> but the last car we have here in the lineup is the iX3, which Dinzo drove. He's over there. <laughs> yeah, hello, boss. <laughs> so the iX3 costs 4.99 million, and I think Dinzo had a good time with it. He did, boss, right? He had a good time with the iX3. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't want to go on camera anymore. I think he's full from the lunch. <laughs> I think there's something that we hear about all these cars, that the electric lineup is completely full from the small compact sports sedan all the way up to the this, the limo, and you have big SUVs in the back. So overall, I think in terms of electrification, BMW as a brand is doing it, right? Yes, most yeah, definitely. And they're doing it fun. It's fun. These cars are fun. It's a fun 100 kilometers an hour. Yeah, it's just so fun. <laughs> I guess that's our drive for today. We have to drive back. But before we go back, uh, I just want to point out, by the way, that I had 80% charge, about 80% when, I, when we left Green Hills, and now I have 41. And which was okay because I had sport mode on. You, How much charge do you have left? I started at 77% and I am currently at 49%. How much charge do you have left? I have no idea. But this is also the one with the biggest battery. So you're good. Leaving Manila, we, I had about 500 kilometers. So okay. I'm good. We have about 150 kilometers left in our... You have 150. Ah, I do. What do you have left? I still have over 200. Damn it. <laughs> so <laughs> if I don't make it to Green Hills, you'll find out in the video, but I, oh, I will. <laughs> anyway, this has been Leander. This has been Anton. And Carlo from Top Gear Philippines. And we'll see you in the next drive. <laughs> we got the <laughs> <laughs>